Well guys, just uh, messing around with a receiver for the last, I don't know, couple of weeks, week, couple of weeks. I started with this wooden bottom and uh, speaker and stuff. Basically, I've tried to build a working receiver. Um, this is actually probably my fourth attempt of getting one to work. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> circuit this time using three uh, PNP transistors um, and the type I'm using <coughs> excuse me the transistor is 2SA18 and as you can see there's three of those here and I'm using thumbtacks thumbtacks brass ones push down into the wood and solder on top of them and all the connections just uh, solder right to those um, pretty much the left hand or I should say right hand side of this circuit works fine that's this side but uh, the schematic that I got um, doesn't say anything about the coil itself the inductor on the antenna and well I've tried um, a couple of different uh, ideas with that. I just randomly tried <laughs> uh, to uh, wind a coil, put on a ferrite rod, and try to get that to work, but nah, didn't work. Hence why I got the four nails. Because that four nails held the cardboard tube. But in any event, um, so I just messed around and messed around. And I had this little inductor here. That I bought a inductor kit, basically, from Radio Shack years ago. Um, there's that and a bunch of others. Um, now I have here a bunch of coils and inductors. And uh, this particular coil, it uh, seems to resonate on the FM band. And you can hear. Not the loudest. Control there. I'm only guessing that's volume on this circuit. I'm assuming that's a volume control. The uh, circuit was actually was actually a French. So I try to, you know, uh, figure out what was what, and uh, all the values are exactly as is in the circuit. In schematic here, what I've got picked here. I'm only assuming this is your volume control. The tuning capacitor doesn't seem to be doing nothing. Um, it does when I was using this coil versus this one when I had her wired up according to the schematic, it worked, but I wasn't receiving any stations other than just static and noise and just plain garbage basically and uh, so now I'm planning on doing I'm planning on removing this tuning cap I've got the old the thing circuit here that I've um, pretty much gave up on a nice little tuning capacitor there that I'm going to alleviate from this case and uh, I'm going to put it in place of this one uh, right now the circuit is running on three volts, which is a couple D-sized batteries here, 1.5 volt D-cells, Duracell, but uh, it's working anyway. So what I'm going to try and do here, I've got a few little transformers, one thing I really lack here in my, I call it, inventory of parts is an enameled wire so I've got a few transformers not not particularly this transformer but I've got a lot of transformers here and I'm gonna pull apart a few and get some enameled wire out of it so I can wind some wind some coils decently here because the one what I've been using 
is either just ordinary small hookup wire or bell wire for my coils and a lot of the uh, a lot of these coils call for a much much smaller wire such as this much smaller wire so um, it works but uh, it's limited basically to one frequency I can't seem to change it at all I put a ferrite slug in this and moves it up and down it doesn't seem to do anything so um, we're going to which is I, I'm gonna mess around with uh, another coil with this thing see if I can't duplicate you know this but see if I can't get it into the HF band and put it in shortwave uh, coil here is a tapped coil with a tickler coil as they call it on top but anyways we shall see anyways a little, little visit a little video for you not a whole lot of anything but uh, hey. I'm messing about. Here easy, folks. And uh, I'll get you an update soon. More videos to come. All the best. 7 3. And uh, subscribe, comment, like, and of course hit that bell button. That bell indicator. And you won't miss it hang. <laughs> Anyways, all the best, folks. We're out of here. Reunion 63.